Hey, what's going on guys? Brady here out on Trophy Club's driving range. Uh, I wanted to do a short video on how to build a golf grip, uh, specifically a neutral golf grip. Uh, you can have a strong grip, you can have a weak grip, or you can have a neutral grip. Now it's a little bit tricky because, um, you know, I've got the logistics of how to do this. Um, but myself, because of my forearm right here, I broke it when I was young playing football, uh, got a plate put in it, and so my left arm is a little weaker in my forearm than I would like it to be. So I kind of have a stronger left hand in my grip, and I'll talk about that. Um, but I've got, obviously, my grip. I've got a little line right here, and then we've got a little lifeline on our glove hand. So I'm just going to walk you through this really quickly. The grip is so important because the grip uh, essentially is the primary controller of the club face and where that club face is going to be angled throughout the swing um, and most importantly at impact. So we'll start with our left hand. Uh, obviously if you're a left-handed golfer you can just inverse this and it'll be with your right hand. But we've got our glove hand first. So I want the club to rest along that line right there. So essentially It's about, see if the camera can get this. So, all right, so right there, this is kind of the crease line of where the palm and the fingers meet. So it'll be right above that and at a slight angle down to about where the pinky ends. You could go just below that even, and then it'll kind of rest right here on the pad or right between the pad of your hand. So some might call this the six finger, but the club should rest at an angle on this left hand. So here we go. So we're gonna grip it right there. Okay, and then I wanted to show this white line right here because if this basically cuts the grip uh, symmetrically right down the middle, I want my left thumb to be just right, just right of that white line, okay? And then I want the V right here between my thumb and my pointer finger to be pointed up to my right shoulder or just inside of my right shoulder. So there's my left hand. Now, I would like to see if you want a neutral grip, if we were to look straight down, I would wanna see about two to like two and a half knuckles on this top glove hand. Now for me, I have a tendency of getting even stronger and I might see three or four. So and you can see how that kind of creases right there in my forearm, but that just provides more strength for me because again, with my forearm, kind of jacked it all up when I was younger. Now I'm a golfer, right? Back when I was playing football a long time ago. Uh, so left thumb, just right of the center line. And then right thumb is gonna be just left of this center line. Now in the right hand, it's very important to essentially have it resting in the fingers. You don't want the club to go way down here in the palm, okay? I want it in the fingers. Okay, so you see that? We're gonna wrap the fingers, and it's in the fingers, not down in the palm, it's in the fingers. Okay, so we're gonna get that right there. The right thumb is gonna go just left of this center line, okay? And then I prefer an interlock grip, so you can do an overlap right there, you could do a 10 finger baseball. That's kind of like kids just getting started. Beginner, beginner golfers. Notice how all my fingers are gently kissing each other, gently touching. So you don't want like a lot of separation. Sometimes people, they'll separate their hands or they'll separate their fingers. So all the fingers gently touching. And I like an interlock because it helps the hands to work synergistically. Okay, so we got left hand here. We got the V pointed up this way, kind of towards the right shoulder, maybe just inside of it. Then we got the right hand, uh, this thumb, the right thumb is just left of that center line. So this right here is essentially a neutral grip and that will help that club face stay nice and square, specifically at a dress. And then if you swing it correctly, you'll be able to square it back up right there at impact. So I would say pressure wise guys, it can vary. Uh, you definitely don't want like a death grip. So we don't, on a scale of one to 10, if 10 is like the most pressure that we can apply, uh, if you grip it like a nine, you know, you're just not gonna have 
enough freedom with that club face uh, to do what you need to do in your swing, especially if you're trying to work the ball. So we don't need a death grip. We're not gonna be able to create a lot of speed if we, if we grip it too tight. Speed is right here when we stay nice and loose. So I would say about a six, maybe a seven in your grip pressure if 10 is the, you know, the maximum pressure that we apply. And then lastly, the strong grip and the weak grip. So this is kind of a neutral grip right here. Again, left thumb, left thumb just right of the center line, right thumb just left of the center line. They kind of cancel out to neutralize the grip. Uh, but to have a strong grip, this left hand, again, is gonna turn over here, over to the right side of the club. And then this hand, my right hand will also apply pressure on the right side of that line. So anytime the pressure is being applied that direction on the right side of the club for a right-handed golfer, that's a strong grip and it will have a tendency of closing that club face down, missing the ball out right to left, hitting a big hook or a big pull shot. Now a weak grip on the flip side would be just left of that center line or right on it. And then this right hand right on the center line or just left of it. So that is going to prevent the club face from turning over and it's going to stay more open. Um, you're probably going to miss out right. You might block it. You might, you know, hit it left to right, hit a big cut or a big slice shot. Uh, but yeah, grip is so foundational because the grip controls the club face primarily and the club face is primarily going to dictate where that ball starts out. So very important guys to have a solid grip. Uh, you could read Ben Hogan's, uh, I think it's Five Fundamentals of Golf, I'm pretty sure that's the name. He's got a good little piece on a grip. Um, that's essentially how I would teach people to grip it. Um, again, if you're a kid just starting out, you could do the 10 finger. Uh, you could do the overlap, but I prefer the interlock because that helps the hands work together synergistically as a unit. So yeah, hope this is helpful guys. Uh, basic foundational stuff to the golf swing might have seemed a little complex as I was talking through it but you want to make sure that you understand it uh, because like a math equation if we miss step one then we're gonna mess the whole problem up so we want to make sure we get a good grip and then hopefully we can hit a golf shot something like this this she uh, get the bow get the bow right here Right there. All right, guys. Y'all have a good day and hope this helps you out on your golf journey.